these days you really do have to take anything the Eubanks say with a very large pinch of salt. But be that as it may, Chris Eubanks Sr. has come out on Twitter and once again reiterated his apparent desire for his son to face middleweight world champion Gennady Golovkin. It's a pretty brief tweet. As you can see on screen, he says, right elbow on the mend. Once mended, Chris Eubank Jr. is looking to engage Triple G. No show ownership, tricks, demands, or BS. Just GG. Those are the words of Chris Eubank Sr. Now, when he's talking about no show ownership, tricks, demands, or BS, is he talking about himself? Or is he talking about Team Golovkin? Is he saying that we, the Eubanks, are not looking for show ownership and will pull no tricks, make no, make no demands, or pull no BS? Or is he saying that those are the things that uh, he doesn't want to see from Triple G's team? <laughs> you never know how to take the Eubanks. They are very enigmatic individuals, particularly Eubanks Sr., and in that particular video right there, which you can see a screenshot uh, on screen right now, Eubank Jr. is looking very impressive in training. That's one thing I can't take away from Eubank Jr. He is a fantastic athlete. This guy is always in shape. He lives the life. And to me, he is growing as an athlete. Now, athletic prowess doesn't always translate into the ring to fighting prowess. But it certainly can't hurt if you're improving your athletic prowess. And from all the training footage I've seen over the past year or so, even over the past couple of years, Eubank Jr. is getting faster and hitting harder. His reflexes look better. His punch variety is getting more impressive. Maybe by the time he fights Triple G, if that fight ever takes place, perhaps he really will give Triple G a very, very tough fight. Triple G is an aging champion now. He's in his mid-30s. He's eventually going to start slowing down and people are going to start getting to him. Triple G's manager came out in recent months following the breakdown of uh, negotiations between the Eubanks and Triple G's team. I, I believe it was his manager. I don't think it was uh, K2, the promotional outfit that handled Triple G. I think it was his manager. And he said that the Eubanks should forget about Triple G for a couple of years. So if that is a serious statement of intent, then the Eubanks are, <laughs> you know, clutching at straws at this point. And they're not even going to be given the opportunity because of the fact that they messed it up so bad in negotiations last time. Let me know what you think of this, people. Eubank Sr. calling for Triple G to face his son. Will it happen in the near future? Again, I have to reiterate that if it does happen, let's say 18 months from now, I think Eubank Jr. has actually got a pretty good shot because I've seen fighters like Triple G come and go, these aggressive wrecking ball type fighters, Mike Tyson being one of them, and there have been many others, and they don't tend to have a very long shelf life because of the manner of their training, which is often very intense. And not so much with Tyson, but certainly with Triple G, also due to the fact that they get hit a lot. Triple G got hit a lot in the Willie Monroe fight. He got hit a lot in the Kell Brook fight. This guy's not difficult to tag. And those punches that he's taking do have a cumulative effect. And it's not just the punches that he takes in professional fights. It's also the punches that he takes behind the scenes in sparring. That punishment puts years on your body. And I just have to, again, uh, state my belief that Triple G's time at the top will not be particularly long. It won't be long before somebody gets to this guy because that's just the nature of fighting in that particular style. Maybe if he adjusts his style and starts to fight more like he did against David Lemieux, a technical fight, if he starts doing that more often, then maybe he can prolong his career. But if he continues fighting the way that he does in this aggressive, quote-unquote, Mexican style that he likes to adopt, then I don't see Triple G being the same force in 18 months that he is now. 
could be wrong, but those are my thoughts. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about everything I talked about in this video. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.